we know we're, we're extremely focused right now. That's that's the vibe right now. Is that everyone's dialed in and and working hard to focus on on this week. You know, last week uh, is in the is in the rearview mirror now, and we gotta we gotta move on. And just um, yeah, every day has been uh, it's been sharp. It's been good, and uh, um, you know I'm excited for for the direction that we're headed. And, and we just gotta take it one day at a time. We can't get ahead of ourselves, you know, or worry about the past too much. Um, you just gotta stay dialed into what we're doing each day. What's it like working with a group of skilled guys that any number of them, I mean, a bunch of them had rushing attempts, a bunch of them had receptions. What do you see from those guys knowing that, them knowing that they could be involved at any moment? Mm -hmm. Well, it gives our offense a lot of balance and it gives us a lot of options and different things that we can do. And, and everyone knows that they uh, have a role to play, that they have a part, that they can contribute, that they can make plays for us. And, and so um, I think, you know, with, with that, it, it only helps our offense. It, you know, it gives us a, a, an edge. And, um, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm appreciative of. You know, it's, it's nice having playmakers around me. It makes my job easy. And um, I think we, we're, we're just going to continue to get better and better. What, what was working so well in that, that third quarter that you can replicate moving forward? Uh, I think just, you know, a lot of it comes down to execution. You know, we just got to execute, do our jobs. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of, of uh, you know, changing up our tempos. And, um, and so those, those are things we can, we can always do. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to us executing our plays, running our, our plays to, you know, to, to as close to perfection as possible. It's never perfect, but, um, you know, we just got to make sure we're doing our job, you know, play in and play out. Did this offense need to prove to itself that it could move the ball successfully against Arizona and then going forward again, continue it? Uh, I think we, we had confidence going in. We, we knew what we were capable of. We worked extremely hard all year long and, and, and had a great fall camp, and so we, we knew what we were capable of, and uh, we have to have that same confidence every week. So you uh, had that knowledge before the game. You didn't need to show it. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we don't need to prove um, anything to, you know, to anyone, really. It's just we, we know what we're capable of, and, and uh, that's, that's all that matters. We just got to go in to, to each game being confident, knowing that if we do our job, we can, we can be successful. How do you think the offensive line has evolved? over the last couple of weeks? Um, you know, I think they've evolved more than just the last couple of weeks, just this, throughout this whole year. Um, you know, so many of them have, have shown a lot of improvement, you know, gotten bigger, gotten stronger in the weight room, um, you know, gained more confidence. And, uh, and I think, you know, just throughout fall camp, I saw their confidence grow and, and, and seeing um, them you know, get that that uh, that playing with that edge and playing with that that fire was, was awesome to see, and and it all starts up front. And, and so you know, if we're gonna have a su successful season, you know, it starts with them, and, and they and they know that, and they, they relish that that role, and they're doing a great job. But we just gotta continue to get better uh, every day. And uh, you know, we, I love love being behind them. They're, they're a great group of guys, both on and off the field. What's been the What's been the biggest difference? Because it wasn't that long ago where the idea for the offensive line was to get leaner and quicker, and now it's back to being bigger and more physical. What's that like for you as the quarterback to kind of go through both of those? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me as as, like, as long as they're protecting and and uh, you know cre creating holes for the running backs for the run game. Uh, it doesn't matter to me, you know, what, what they look like necessarily, as as long as they're just getting getting the job done. Um, and so, you know, I, I trust our strength and conditioning staff. I trust our coaches. And uh, you know, if we follow their lead and and do what we're told, then, then we know they'll they'll put us in a good position to be successful. We've heard a lot about Cal's defense just being fast, turnover happy kind mm -hmm. of defense. What do you expect on Saturday? Yeah, they're, no, they're a very very talented team. Uh, very very well coached. They play hard. You know, they had, they had a great win last week. Uh, you know, their defense really propelled them to, to a victory, cr creating turnovers and and uh, and so yeah, you know, watching them on film from from last week and then all their games from last year, they they, they play fast, they play tough, they give a lot of different looks, and uh, that's that's something that we are preparing for all week. You know, we we, we embrace that challenge, we we relish it, uh, just just like we do every week, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to a, to a good matchup. I watched to prepare to run the jet sweep. Did you study film of any other? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, just, you know, just listen to my coaches and, and really just tried to emulate, you know, the way they wanted us to run it, the way they coached it up, and uh, you know, I just just follow their lead and and hopefully, you know, good things happen. What was your reaction when they put it in the playbook? I mean, you guys ran it nine times. No, it's 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 a great 
concept. You know, you, you see it in a lot of at a lot of different levels, at all levels, the NFL included. And uh, you know, it, it it allows you to utilize your speed, keeps defenses off balance, um, you know, and forces them to move around and and, and shift. And, and so, you know, if we run it right, if we execute it well, then then it gives us a, a, you know a lot of different different ways to be. Um, or just d different ways to get to, to, to different plays and things like that. So I think it, it you know, it was good for us, but we got, we got to continue to sharpen it up, and and um, you know, it, it can be a good, a good, uh, good concept for us. What's your comfort level with this offense compared to the other three years you've been here? I don't really compare it to the, the past. I, I, I feel good. I feel confident. I, I'm enjoying it, and you know, every every day is uh, another opportunity to come out here and get better and practice. And, um, but I, I don't really compare it to, then, to previous years. Then how about your knowledge of this offense? What's your comfort level of this, this one? I feel great. I, I feel good. I like it. Um, you know, all, all year long we've all worked hard as an offense to get it down, and um, you know, it's 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 paying off. You know, every, every day though we got to get better. It's you know, you're never you're never satisfied. You're never perfect. There's always more to do, more to learn, more to you know, more to master. But but I feel good about it. I feel confident with where how, I am. How much ownership? How much ownership and involvement do you feel like you have and the team has as far as pregame prep and in-game decision making? Um, you know, the pregame prep is a lot of it's on us. You know, we have to come out here and we have to practice with energy. We have to practice with poise, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's not always easy to do. You know, you, you have school, you have things going on, and you, you got to come out and and be out here for you know a couple hours practicing. And so that 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 a lot of that falls on us to bring the energy, to bring the the juice, as Coach Pew calls it. You know, and and um, and so that's. That's something that you know that we we understand and, and we like that and we have a lot of self-motivated guys who can who can get everyone pumped up and so we, and we understand that's what it takes you know if we, you know the, the the games on Saturday are just a reflection of, of your preparation during the week and if we're going to be successful Saturday we have to be successful during the week with with practices and so we know we got to practice hard we know we got to be sharp if, if we're going to give ourselves a shot on, on, on Saturdays and and as far as in the game, you know, we just, we really trust our coaches because you know all th all throughout the week, they install a great game plan, and we know if, that if we do our job and execute it, then it's gonna it's gonna help us be successful. Given Tanner, the struggles last year at home, uh, how much are you looking forward to playing again at Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday? It's, it's always a blast playing at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's always a great environment. Uh, it's always fun just being there in front of the home crowd, feeling that that noise, the energy, and. Um, and so I'm pumped. You know, I'm pumped to get out there this week. Uh, just uh, you know, it's, it's the first home games. You know, it's, it's just it's, it's an exciting thing. And um, you know, Saturday night, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it.